Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to a day in the life of me being sick. You're gonna hear me sounding kind of sick today. For the past like four days, I've been with a cold. It's been pretty miserable and so I haven't filmed like in a week and now I kind of have to because I have work I have to submit. I have work I gotta keep up with. So um, yeah, I'm gonna vlog today. Today is Sunday and the kids are downstairs with Joe. Just to give you an idea, like I've had I've had a really bad sore throat. I've been sharing all of this with you guys on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, this is nothing new. But I had a really bad sore throat for like three days. Didn't get any better. Yesterday I spent like four hours in the urgent care for them to tell me basically like it's not strep throat. We did a strep throat test. Um, it's basically just like an upper respiratory infection, like a cold. So there wasn't a lot that they could do. So luckily um on the bright side and by the way i had taken a COVID test it was negative i had taken one of the at-home ones um so i think it's just a cold but my sore throat seems to be a little better but now i'm like all like you know like congested and sneezing and fun fun times over here so if you don't like i don't know me sounding like this and then maybe you don't want to watch this vlog but I've got a lot of stuff I gotta catch up on. I've just got to get the house in order because like Joe's done a fantastic job like he always does. Like when Joe, when Joe has the kids and stuff, when I'm sick, when he's like managing everything, like he is amazing. Like I give him a hard time, but he is an angel. Like yesterday I was taking a nap on the couch and then when I woke up, like he woke me up with like a bowl of mac and cheese and I've never loved him more. It was so nice. So that's what we are up to here. I've got a lot of stuff I want to update you guys on. Um, my sister, by the way, my sister, it's been a while since like I update you on her. She's 33 weeks pregnant, you guys. And she is, you know, due at the end of December. So I cannot wait to meet my little niece. I was thinking actually of um, doing like a, kind of like a video, like a, what would I call it like if I were to redo my baby registry like what would I you know like what would I put on my baby registry since like the last couple weeks have been like all about helping her and like her baby registry and like when she had her shower we were trying to help her with her registry like would that be helpful would that be like something that you guys want to see because I was thinking like now there's like all these new things on the market and all of that so I might put together a video like that I think it would be interesting to see and just like my thoughts on different baby products and like what I would use now not that I am pregnant you guys know I am not pregnant but maybe to help some of you guys new mamas that are looking to do a registry which by the way I would definitely include the Newton baby mattress I'm here in Jackson's room and I have to like redo his sheets because his sheets were nasty but today's video is sponsored by Newton baby which you guys know we work with them I've worked with them like almost like 10 times now here on my channel so i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about nude and baby if you guys are on the hunt for a mattress this is what the nude and baby mattress looks like i have it out here because like i said i'm going to change out his sheets but this is the mattress that i would put on my baby registry it's actually like one of the things that my sister like knew right away that she wanted to put on her registry it's 100 percent breathable um which means that if your baby's like on his belly for any reason and your baby's like face is on the mattress your baby can breathe right through it which obviously helps you know like protect against like the risks of suffocation and all of that you know what it's like when you're a new mom like you're like constantly making sure that your baby can breathe and all of that and so this is something that i wish i had with riley when i had riley i, I don't even know that the new baby was um that the mattress is on the market but with jackson i have loved using this mattress this is the mattress that has been in his crib ever since we brought him to his crib when we sleep trained him at six months but it's great and one of the best things about it like i always tell you guys again this is nothing new if you've been here on my channel is that it's 100 percent washable the zipper is always underneath the tags which is why i can never find it but this completely um you, it opens up with a zipper and then you can wash it just throw the cover right in the wash I've done it several times now it's not like it shrinks or anything or makes it impossible to wash so let me put this down I'm not gonna wash it today but just so you can see what it looks like when you open it up so the zipper goes all the way around and then this is what the mattress looks like inside and you've got the cover that like I said you can throw this right in the wash washer dryer this inside part of the mattress you can actually um, like get this in your like shower and you can wash it down like if it's dirty. You can totally wash this. You can totally wash this. There is no other mattress like this on the market that is completely washable like this. So that's 
great in terms of like just hygiene, making sure that there's no bacteria in there. The inside part of the mattress too, um, this is made out of um, like the same material of a yogurt cup. It's called like a food grade polymer. So that means there's no latex, there's no foam, which is nice. Like again, for allergies, for making sure that there's no like bacteria or anything like that. So we are big fans of this. It's also super lightweight. So, you know, there's no issues with like carrying it around, taking it to the shower if you wanted to hose it down. So yeah, long story short, we love the Newton Baby Mattress. Um, I have a code for you guys if you want to try it. If there's anyone in your life who's looking for a mattress and is maybe like overwhelmed with which mattress to choose, I have a code that gets you $50 off of the mattress plus free shipping. They also have like 100 nights free trial. So if you want to try it if for any reason you don't like it you can send it right back makes it very easy but i don't think you'll send it right back because there's nothing to not like about this mattress the gray cover like we have the one that's gray they also have it in pink and blue and white and fun fact um we were actually my sister is gonna have to love me forever um we were able to hook my sister up with a Newton Baby mattress. So Newton Baby was so nice that they sent me one that I was able to send to her. So at Mimi's house now, in the room where um, Riley used to sleep in that crib in my mom's house, that's gonna be like the crib now for the new baby. So we were able to put the Newton Baby mattress in that crib and now my sister is so happy. She's gonna get to, you know, use that there at Mimi's house and she knows that her baby's in, you know, good hands sleeping on that mattress. Like, again, my sister was like going back and forth about a bunch of stuff. What should I put on my registry? She's so funny, she was like telling me how she was going back and like looking at all my old videos. But from the day that she found out she was pregnant and told us, she's like, the one thing I know that I want is the Newton Baby mattress. So. I was able to like, you know, work some magic and negotiate and all of that and get her a mattress. So she's very happy with me and I am happy that her little one will be able to sleep on that. So if you have any questions about the mattress, let me know. Um, I'm going to put some new sheets on it. They do also have sheets. By the way, the Newton Baby has like organic sheets that are really, really nice. But for some reason, they're like back ordered right now. Um, like they're kind of out of stock because I guess they are so popular. But I'm going to put some new sheets on that. And again, just thank you to Newton Baby for sponsoring today's video. Um, $50 off using my code. All the information is going to be down below in the description box. Another thing while I'm thinking about it about the mattress that we love too is that once you're done with it, like you can pass this on for generations and generations because you can like wash it. And like I said, it can keep it nice and clean. But when you're done with it, it's 100% recyclable. So you can recycle it. It's good for the planet and it's good for your little one. So we love this thing. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Now I have to catch up on like a week's worth of like work and things because like I said I'm behind um where do I have his sheets I'm like I don't even know I don't even know what's up what's down I've just been not feeling very good the last few days and it is never fun when you're sick right because then everything else why can't I open this oh, this drawer underneath this crib like I like it but sometimes it gets stuck all right are we gonna use these sheets I think that's the one for the crib we'll just do the Star Wars sheets how about that but you know like everything just piles up and then I've been like, you know I know I need to slow down like when I'm sick. I have to slow down like there's nothing um, Like I shouldn't overexpend myself and it's okay to slow down Especially when you're sick, but I don't have like all this anxiety of all the things that I need to get done Joe took care of the laundry yesterday though. So we don't have that much laundry like I have to do the kids laundry But that can wait until tomorrow. We are also leaving to Miami, God willing, the end of this coming week. So today's Sunday on Saturday, I think, is when we're leaving. So we're gonna spend a couple days, like a few days with my parents at my parents' house leading up to Thanksgiving. And then the day after Thanksgiving, we're supposed to be heading out to Disney World. So a lot of stuff going on. Boom, Jackson has a new nice fresh sheet there because was looking kind of gross and then we were planning on going to church today like we found a church last week that we loved it was so nice and we really liked the priest so we were gonna go back this week but since i'm sick i was like forget it we're just gonna do the live stream downstairs so it's still early it's 9 30 so i think the live stream is at 10 30 um and we'll do our mass and then you know it'll be from home but at least we'll participate and then after that i can just kind of take care of some of the stuff that i need to around the house so Let's go see what everybody's doing downstairs. Good morning, little people. What's the matter? I'm sorry I didn't eat yogurt. You're sorry you didn't eat your yogurt? Well, you still have time. You can still eat it. 
I made them yogurt and then I had also made them this is like a half eaten Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse waffle but I found those at the store the other day and I think Jackson liked his he ate his whole breakfast very good Jackson you like Riley's Peppa tricycle do you like it yeah yeah are you sharing that's so nice I want to ride it. Okay, we'll finish your breakfast and maybe you can ride it. Ah. Bye. See you later. Ah. <laughs> you look cute. Good morning, Dada. Uh, good morning again. Well, it, good morning for the vlog. Oh. Good morning. We got coffee going. Mama, yes. I don't want to eat my okay, then don't eat your blueberries. Have some coffee. I've been having like tea nonstop, but I really want some coffee today. Yeah? Bye. Bye. <laughs> he gets on his little tricycle. That is too cute. Oh my goodness. I need to do groceries. There's there's no oh I do have some fudge and I have creamer. You gotta try those eggs. I think actually there might be butter down in the basement. I'm gonna have my peppermint creamer that I found at Target the other day. Feeling festive, you guys know. The other day, um, Joe went to Starbucks when I was like really sick with the sore throat. He went to Starbucks. My friend had given me like she had Venmoed me some money to get me something at, at Starbucks, and he got me the medicine ball. So the medicine ball is like literally like that. Like you go to Starbucks and you ask for the medicine ball. It's like a citrus herbal tea or something, but it is. What's it called on the menu? That's what you got. Like citrus. citrus herbal tea, but if you ask them for a medicine ball, they'll know what it is. It is so good for when you're sick. So if you're sick, if you're with a sore throat, whatever, um, go to Starbucks and ask for that because it tastes so good and it actually helps. What, what are you doing? What was that? <laughs> um, so that would help. That would also help a lot more than putting an onion in your sock. <laughs> because the other day, the other night somebody told me that like I did a poll because somebody had told me that if you're sick You should put an onion in your sock and then that was like the whole thing on Instagram that I asked Joe if I could put an onion in my sock and he was like what on earth is wrong with you like regretting all of his life choices and marrying me <laughs> But long story short I put an onion in my sock and it didn't work so there spoiler alert it does not work even though some people in the poll, there was like a good, like almost 100 people in the poll that said it worked. That I, were you upset that I put an onion in my sock? Yeah, cause it smelled. It was, it was not fun. Do you want me to try the potato in my sock? Cause other people said a potato. I know, it smelled really bad. After I had done it, I felt bad cause it, it really did smell. So save yourself from the putting the onion in your sock. I don't know what it is. Like a bunch of people messaged me saying that they like their thing is they slice an onion and put it by their bedside table and I don't know it attracts the bacteria a lot of weird things that you people do okay but the onion in the sock did not work for me my coffee's so good but the anyway what I was saying was the Starbucks um, the medicine ball is really good if you're sick and a lot of people right now are sick themselves too I got so many messages from you guys on Instagram saying that you're also sick that your kids are sick so I guess I mean, I don't know what it is. Like, there's a lot of stuff other than COVID going around. Like, we think that the only thing going around is COVID, but a lot of things are out there in the world right now. I don't know. I know that the change in weather. What's the? Did you eat all your yogurt? Good job. High five. Good job. A lot of um, the change of weather um, does not help. Like last week, it was like 32 degrees. This morning, 29 degrees over here so that's lovely i would take you guys outside to see the patio because there's been some progress but it's too cold right now you want to do camping on the patio yeah. if it warms up a little bit then we can go out there and take your tent okay no no what do you mean no well if you go out inside right now you're gonna freeze your butt cheeks okay so we'll wait till it's a little um warmer when no, the sun no, comes no. out no 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 you want to freeze your butt cheeks you can go out there and freeze your butt cheeks look i'll show you no. Look. Go, freeze your butt cheeks. No. It's very cold, actually. Sweater. But that's what the patio is looking like. Whatever. I'll freeze my butt cheeks. And they've done, they had to do like a wall, which is not finished, but there's like a wall. I would like to take you guys down there at some point. There's like a wall all up this side, and then over there is going to be the fire pit. So, so far that's been the progress. 
and it's looking really good. Really glad that we did that. I think it's gonna be so nice to have that space, to be able to like have the kids play down there. I'm very happy about it. Hey, what's the matter? You don't know how to put on your sweater? Your legs are still gonna get cold. Yeah, I need to get you guys dressed is what I need to do, okay? And then I need to on the patio. Yeah, but we also have to listen to church. So we've got some things that we have to do before we can just go play. All right, I just made myself eggs. Can you see how orange these eggs are? These were like the Nelly's eggs, I think is the brand, but they, they're like legit orange. And I didn't put anything in them except for um, just a little bit of milk. Um, are you eyeballing my food? What do you want? You want a piece of my toast? Okay. No, he's taking off the toast. I know. I can always make another one. The kids are here playing with beads. Mom shares. Yes, I know oh. how to share. I share everything yeah. in this house. Hello. Hello. Hey, Mama. Yes? Mom. I'm going to make a necklace too. Yeah. Jackson was actually doing pretty good. He was playing with the necklaces and he put those beads through there. I thought he wouldn't be able to because they're so tiny. But he did a good job. He has like pretty good hand-eye coordination. And I Jackson, is that how we eat toast? Mmm. Mm. That's some achinana. You're a savage. I actually have to call my mom now because she was messaging me. She was like texting me and going, how'd you sleep? Are you still feeling sick? You know, like checking up on me like she does every morning. So I've got to call her back and do our morning FaceTime. Man, those eggs are still good, but they look like a legit orange. We also, by the way, got our family photos back. I'll show you guys. If I remember, I'll show you guys my computer i want to do like a gallery wall like over here somewhere um jackson that's not how you eat the bread <laughs> like he's eating the middle of the bread is that good sure yeah okay you're full of butter now delicious but yeah i want to do a gallery wall the photos came out beautiful so it was worth every single tantrum like the best money i've spent in a very long time so i'm very glad that we did that i'll show you them in a little while so let me talk to mimi you gotta watch our mass and then i'll check in with you guys in a little bit all right guys so it's a little later we watched our mass um jackson's been playing with his new favorite toy I had given them one of their like birthday christmas toys early because like there's just a million things down in the basement for them so i had gotten these like remote control cars at um at walmart and it came like the pack of two with um there's like a red remote for that one so a pack of two for like 9.99 and it's been like really great they've been both enjoying playing with those riley what? which one is your favorite do you like the police car or the fire truck the police car. you like the police car also by the way this is what our windows <laughs> look like right now look at our windows they are full of stickers like most of them are like the easy to remove stickers but there are a handful of like legit real stickers that I have to take off that Joe is like having a fit about. So I've got to work on that. But like look, our, our entire, like, entire windows and not just the windows, you guys. I think over here, if I'm not mistaken, Riley had put in, um, she had put stickers on her step stool and bottom of this and on our toilet. So we are full of stickers. I have to take them off. Like these aren't hard. Like most of them won't be hard, but there are a handful that are gonna require some scrubbing and that's the life of having a toddler. I'm sure this gave me like 15 minutes of, you know, peace and quiet, but now I've got to take time <laughs> to remove them all. And these are actually good. These are like the Melissa and Doug reusable stickers that I've shared a couple times and the kids love to play with them, but they use them like this, like window clings and they stick to all the things. Jackson, what do you got there? Did you find raisins? He's like, you're not seeing nothing. You found raisins? You found raisins. All right, you can have them. Do you like raisins? He loves to eat them. I need to get them their lunch, even though I don't know if he's even gonna eat lunch because while we were watching the mass, he ate three entire, like the little oranges, little mandarins. He ate three of them. Like I would give him one and he'd come back with the empty bowl. And he asked me to do that several times. So he ate three oranges. And I mean, I guess he could use a vitamin C because I'm hoping the kids don't get sick. Like they were sick not too long ago. They were, they kind of had the same thing, like a sneeze and coughing and all of that. The last time that we went to my mom's house, 
so that was like really the first time that they've been sick almost like ever like my kids usually don't get sick and this time around i'm hoping that it's me that got it and hopefully they're kind of already like immune to that and they don't get it but that's kind of like the thing that's weird about me being sick is like usually the kids are the ones that get you sick because they've been like around other kids and stuff but like i haven't been around anybody it's not like i go anywhere by myself so like where the heck did i get sick from if it wasn't like just like the changing weather and all of that little jackson i see you are you eating just because you close your eyes doesn't mean i can't see you anymore okay if you're gonna eat your raisins you need to sit up I like your PJs, by the way. These are the little baby bums. I think is little bum bums. I think is what they're called. They're like bamboo PJs, super soft, but these are a little bit smaller on him. And it's got the little doggies, very comfy. A delivery for me? Thank you. I appreciate it. I actually have have my new label printer that I need to set up. So um, when we were sending out the ornaments that went live on my Etsy shop which thank you by the way to everybody who bought ornaments. Um, I was having to like print the shipping labels by like using the printer and then like taping them. So I got one of these like thermal printers which now makes it easier and faster for me to print out like shipping labels and then put them on the little mailers. These are the mailers that I've been using. So just little things like that that I've been investing in for like shipping out products. I feel like my nose is going to be so red this vlog because I keep blowing my nose. But um, yes, going back to the Etsy stuff, that was fun this week. That was like a whole new experience of trying to like ship out physical products. And Joe helped me. He took everything to um, the post office for me because it was like when I was sick and I couldn't leave the house but it was it was a lot of fun so I'm hoping that we can do like I can do like little drops of things like occasionally in my shop because I'm making all this stuff by hand and I don't have like hours and hours and hours to do it it's not like that's the only thing I do so little by little I'll go making things and if anybody wants to buy it I can like for example I had made this mug for me like months ago this was like one of the first things that i made and um a lot of people were like were like where did you get your mug where can i buy it and it wasn't something that like i had ever thought that i would sell because i just made it for me but i found those same mugs again and i don't have like a ton of them but i found a good like six or seven of them and now i can make them and then i can post them on my etsy store and then whoever wants to buy them can buy them so my Etsy shop is now listed in the description box of my videos. So you can, you know, favorite it or whatever. And then when there's a drop, I'll let you know on Instagram. But you can also, like, check there occasionally. Uh, hello. Why are you so angry? That's when he wants me to carry him. He says, up, down. Up, down. What do you want to do today? What do you want to do? You want to play? How do you say hi, friends? Hello. No, you don't want to say hi, friends. Oh, excuse me. Mimi. How do you say hi? Mimi, Mimi. Mimi? You want to call Mimi? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Then what do you want to do? I know you always want to call Mimi. What do you want to do today? You want to play? You want to read a book? I have new library books to read to you. You want to read a book? Yeah. I put most of their library books upstairs, but. I kept a couple of them down here so that I could read to them. This one he's been really liking, obviously, because there's a car involved. And then these. This one looks cute. Should be, like, about this little kid growing up. I've just been loving to read, like, different books. It's so fun. But anyway, while they're entertained there, let me see if I can open up my computer here to show you the family photos and just kind of give you, like, a quick glimpse at the gallery. Again, my friend is the one who took them um and i had never like invested the money in family photos before but i'm really glad that we did i'm hoping to make it like a a yearly thing and just like put that in the budget and i honestly like don't even know how she got like even half of these shots because the day of was a hot mess like the day of jackson was not cooperating so i'll show you like a handful of the ones that i have here so she got a ton of like really great ones of riley and i like i love this one, it's like a lot of pictures of her and I that I really, really like. And then she did like some that were black and white and some that were just like regular. So I'm gonna put 
That's her little Riley. She, she did great in the photo shoot. Like, look at this picture of her. This is a little poppy bow, by the way, which we love. Like, she <laughs> rightly nailed this photo shoot. This one is probably one of my favorite ones of all of us. But the gallery wall, I'm thinking of doing right up there. So that's where I'm thinking of putting some of the photos. These were really pretty, just like walking through the fields there. And I'm so glad that we got like the different colors of the leaves. You know, since we're in Virginia, I wanted to embrace the fact that we were truly in Virginia and not in Miami. <laughs> so, no Jackson with Dada, screaming children in the background. These are all just so good. So I don't even know how I'm gonna choose like which ones I'm gonna put. And then, which other ones do I love? A bunch of great ones of Riley with ja um, with Dada. These here were cute, like of all of us. I like the one in color too, of that one. That one's really pretty. So we'll put up a bunch of them in the house. And what I liked is, I'm glad that I went with like neutral colors because when I print these out and put them on the walls, like it's gonna kind of go with our decor. It's not like anything pops out with like random colors. So they came out super good. Jackson having a fit. This is another one. Jackson! Another one of my favorite ones. Jackson! This is another one of my favorites. Like she just did such a great job. Joe and I, like that one is like beautiful. So like Joe and I haven't taken photos like this since our wedding really. So I'm glad we have some of us that we can print out. They came out really nice. This one is one of my favorites of Riley and Joe. And jo. Just like walking through. I don't know what your problem is, you people, but you need to stop fighting. Riley with her data. Like these are just very special and I'm glad that we have them. Yeah, I've been sharing like a few here and there on Instagram, putting together some reels, but I was very, very happy with them. And again, those are pictures that would have never come to fruition had I not made my mom friend here through Riley's dance class. So it's just funny how life works like that. Um, the fact that the one friend I make is a photographer and that I was able to, you know, see her work and her work is great. She does like family photos like this too, but like she also does like newborn photos and her newborn sessions are beautiful. Like some of the cutest newborn photos that I've seen. So she's very talented. And I miss her so much now because she doesn't have her daughter in the same dance class as Riley anymore. So I'm hoping that we can get the kids together soon to do something because, you know, it was nice to see her on a weekly basis and now I haven't, but you know, I still chat with her and text her and, you know, DM her and stuff. Are you working at my computer? These are some of like Jackson's old photos. This was how old was he? He was nine months old here. Excuse me, you people. Look at baby Jackson. He was nine months old here. This is when I did like the monthly photos. And I just like did them on the little mat. And I saved them all here. <laughs> he was so little. This makes me very sad. All right, so Riley and I have been catching up on some of her curriculum. We've been doing some crafts from her curriculum. So this is something that came right out of her book. But it's something easy that you could like recreate yourself. So like this came right out of the book that we've been using, like all the crafts are already there, but you could do like a black piece of paper and cut out some stars or some star stickers and have them put the stickers and make like the night sky. Same with the sun, like you could just cut out, you know, yellow paper and make the rays and then have them put together the rays. That's just like kind of teaching them about like who made the sky, who made the stars, who made the sun, God made all those things. God created the heavens, the earth. Um, so like, you know, that's kind of like along the lines of what her curriculum was teaching. And then they have like these little crafts that you can do with them and then walk them through like the biblical piece of it too, um, which has been really nice. Riley, who made those stars? And in the beginning, very good. So that is our little craft of the day, easy peasy. And then I also wanted to mention that I have the sight words that I showed you guys, I think in the last, um, vlog and I got a lot of feedback on the sight words which I appreciate from you guys because I've never taught sight words before and a lot of you guys were saying like you don't sound out sight words like that's not the point so it's really just to memorize things so like I've been putting together words like this um, for her to work on so things like I like to and then she can fill in the blank here so kind of putting together easy things like that I like to 
What do you like to do? You like making crafts with Mama? So then I'll have her be like, I like to, and she has to point at the words to kind of start familiarizing herself with the words and memorizing the words. So we've been working on that a little bit more and not so much on like, oh, like sound it out because that's not the point. So thank you to you guys who like, you know, wrote in the comments and a few of you took the time to like DM me because, you know, I'm not a teacher. I've never taught kids, but, um, you know, I'm doing my best here and <laughs> trying. So that feedback was super helpful because you're right, like sight words, you're not supposed to sound them out. Like Riley actually the other day, she gave me a hard time because she came to me and she's like, circle, circle starts with the letter. S and I was like no it doesn't it starts with the letter C and she's like but why because you know logically you're right like logically it makes sense that circle would start with an S but it doesn't so when we're trying to teach her how to read and stuff there's certain words that she just kind of has to memorize so that is that we'll work on these a little bit and then get them some lunch uh, excuse me what are you doing I forgot to switch that around and turn it around so you can climb it little mister what you doing? He's very proud of himself that he made it up there. Is it time? Is it time to have some lunch? No. Yep. No or yes? A banana. You already had a banana and you had three orange apples. Oh. Yeah, I know. These are some of my new library books that I got. The two I got two new cookbooks just to read through, get some ideas. But again, cookbooks at the library—that's the way to go for sure. I had actually seen um, in her book. I think it was some kind of bread that I had seen that I wanted to make. Not like bread, bread, I forgot what I had seen. Was it, oh this, I had wanted to make coffee cake. That seemed pretty easy, so maybe this week at some point I'll be daring enough to try to make it. All right, so I've been working on the windows and look, I am left with all of these things. I don't know if this is giving any of you guys anxiety, but like a bunch of the adhesive. So I would normally be having a fit, but I have recently been using my Scrub Daddy sponge in cases like this, and it really helps take that off. So, like some of them I'm gonna have to scrub a little bit more, but it really just like gets rid of all this stuff that I would normally like go and look for goo gone. So I'm gonna work on this a little bit, and hopefully, the stickers will come off but like you see like that one like pretty much went away and then these down here are gonna come off can I do it no I am trying to do this quickly so if you guys don't have one of these sponges like these are great this is what we use to wash our dishes but I have recently used it in times of sticker need like this and it works really good so another reason why I love this guy and there we go they are all gone Love it. Love this sponge. So now I sacrifice one of these sponges. It's gonna be like the one that I just use for like random messes, but this thing is amazing. All right, so I'm over here. I'm gonna try to make some lunch. I'm gonna make the last home chef that I didn't eat this week. So this is what Joseph and I are gonna eat. Hopefully it is good. It says it takes 15 minutes. Yeah, for lunch. Just lettuce wraps. So I'm gonna brown that and then you just do a little slaw and then you make it in the, like the lettuce wrap so it should be quick and easy. All right guys, I am not playing with the cold weather. I do not want to get sick. So um, I brought the kids out here because Riley insisted she wanted to go camping. Got her little tent set up there. Uh oh, what? What's the matter with you, bud? So let me show you anyway, what we've got working with so far. So all of this area is now um, with the concrete, which is nice because before this was all grass that we weren't able to use. So Joe wants to put like a shed back there and then um, they still haven't put the stairs down, you know, from the deck. So eventually we'll have the stairs that just go right down. But I really like the stonework. And they had to put the wall 
because apparently something with like how our water is like it would have like always been wet up here so they had to put a wall um all of this is going to be lattice so there's going to be lattice all around the deck so you're not going to see like under the deck which is going to look really nice and then they'll finish the stonework all of that and then there's going to be the fire pit here so so far it's looking good oh my god that tree this morning there were so many more leaves on that tree this morning it's crazy how the leaves are just falling off of the trees so go riley i brought you your camping tent and your camping stuff so you could do camping i'm just excited to be able to you know comfortably bring the kids out here more and not have to worry about you know them stepping in grass and you know like the grass that was always super tall and having to watch out for snakes every time we came out here so at least there will be one area where we know that there's no snakes if we can't see them all right there you go my friend you, you can play jackson Jackson is not a cold weather person. Riley is any kind of weather person. Jackson is kind of uh, a little bit more difficult. What is your half-made Lego car doing in there? He's like, give me a car, lady. Okay, Riley, we can't be out here too long because it's getting very cold, okay? So play for a little while and then we're going to go inside. All right, so Joe just got back from his run. So I gave Jackson to Joe so he can go inside. And we got a real Bear Grylls over here. She brought in her little water. Did you bring in your lamp? Yeah. That's right, you need to sleep with light on. Oh, you're gonna turn on the stove? That's smart. Are you having a nice time in there? You're gonna make some food? What are you gonna eat? You're gonna eat what, steak? Oh, that's good, a little piece of steak. So anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm gonna, I need to edit this. So I'm gonna edit it later today and I have just some more work to do. And then hopefully we can relax. Like Joe and I have been doing the Bible in a year. So we're on day seven today. So we're gonna do that after we put the kids to bed. And we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the family day. I think Jackson's starting to not feel very good. So I didn't want him out here, especially with it being so cold. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today. Um, I'm glad that I was able to just catch you up on what's been going on and all of that. Again, a big thanks to Newton Baby for sponsoring today's video. $50 off of the mattress if you want it, plus free shipping. All the info will be down below. But I love your freaking faces like always. Hopefully more vlogs this week to come. Then we've got some Miami vlogs, we've got Disney vlogs, and then we've got Vlogmas. So lots of good things coming. So I love your freaking faces. Make sure to give the studio a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.